so peaking cool. Hey, I'm Frank. And I'm Derek. And welcome to another episode of So Geeking Cool. Today, we're going to be talking about our recap from Pensacon. Correct. And uh, just to give you guys some insight or an update, uh, unfortunately, I was unable to attend uh, Pensacon 2022. Uh, my son got uh, sick a few days before, and I made the decision to actually uh, just hang back. Uh, but um, Frank is going to uh, give us some insight on all the fun and excitement that went around. And uh, I actually tried to not attend virtually, but I tried to keep up with some of the things uh, and action that was going on uh, via the Internet. You're right. And um, before we get started, how, how's your son now? Uh, he's doing much better. Uh, he's doing fantastic. He's back back in school, uh, okay. so he's feeling much better. Uh, well, he may not. He may be physically feeling better, but he's probably not feeling better about being back in school. Um, <laughs> Correct. It's probably how we feel when we go to work. Just kidding. We we love where we work. Um, we have the best boss ever. Um, we do. <laughs> um, so, Pensacon. Uh, let's let's talk about it. Um, Friday, I went as Captain America. Uh, my wife went as Black Widow. Okay. And my best friend Kevin went as the Red Guardian. Okay. Um, from the Black Widow movie, and we had a great time. Uh, took a lot of pictures. Uh, Walked around, did our normal, you know, purchased what we wanted to off the floor so okay. that we didn't have to do it later. Uh, and it, it turned out really well. Um, Friday, the crowd was very manageable. Um, I do want to say Thursday, picking up our passes, very smooth. Um, they had the pass pickup uh, at the Court de Luna instead of our Court de Luna instead of at the Bay Center for people who are picking up early and that was just couldn't have gone smoother as far as picking up the passes. Okay. Um, okay. So when we went on Friday, we were ready. We had everything we needed. Um, ran into a lot of good friends of ours. Um, Rafe white and, uh, and his wife who run Southern, the Southern geek okay. and, uh, our friend Lonnie Morrison, who is actually Deadpool, uh, in any oh, of the cool. pictures that you see on from the Southern Geek table, that's, okay. that's Lonnie. Great guy. Um, so if you're ever out and you see Deadpool doing anything silly or, or crazy in front of Southern Geek, walk up and, and just strike up a conversation with Lonnie, and you'll never know where it's going to go, but it'll be <laughs> fun. Um, and then <clears throat> Saturday uh, was, a, was a very interesting day because – I started this project right here two and a half weeks before Pensacon. You know, we talked about Pro Consternation and we talked about Con Crunch. And uh, Con Crunch is always interesting when you have procrastinated to the point where, where you're on a timetable. It's a totally different situation when you decide to start a costume at the last minute and see if you can get it finished in time, which is what I decided to do. Not only did I decide to do it, but my wife decided that if I was going to be Loki, then she was going to cosplay as Amora, the Enchantress from uh, the Marvel Universe, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, we did get it finished in time. I was actually painting this helmet uh, the night before we left. You can see some of this detail uh, where I did the airbrushing. Um, I, you know, I, I quickly. I 3D printed all of the armor pieces. And and, and I was fortunate enough to uh, not get a behind-the-scenes look, but commentary as you would um, begin different processes of uh, 3D printing the helmet, uh, the armor, and, and so on. Uh, but now um, it seemed as if, and this is me uh, just thinking, it seems that this project would have taken someone... Um, a few months uh, to actually do, and, and you condensed it or or shortened that time tremendously. Um, yeah. And how how did you feel 
was it well received how the reaction I think so. I think a lot of people really liked it. Um, I I took a lot of pictures with people. And if you were one of the people who I took pictures with, um, please contact me because I get very few photos because when I'm in costume, people rush up to take pictures with me, but I don't have my phone out. Uh, I don't have a way to get copies of the pictures myself most of the time. So if you have any of those pictures of me uh, throughout the weekend, please Drop a comment. Find me on um, Instagram. Uh, it's Frank and Kelly Cosplay. Um, that's Frank and then the letter N and then Kelly, K-E-L-I, Cosplay on Instagram. Um, okay. Drop it on the So Geeking Cool Facebook page. Uh, cool. Drop it on the So Geeking Cool Instagram page. Um, right. However you can get in touch with us, please. Uh, or even comment... Uh, if if you don't have the information, comment below, and and, and certainly we'll we'll get the information for you to uh, share the photos. Right, because um, that that would be tremendous. Um, I did not take any of my own advice, um, and I did not try on the costume before we went to Pensacola. So I actually texted you a picture Friday night of me in the costume for the very first time, and it looked really good. It, it it did, and and I didn't know that was your first time uh, trying, and that was one of the rules uh, or or something leading up to uh, Pensacon that you wanted to. Uh, but you're a veteran player, so um, well. It, uh, let me tell you a story about this veteran player um, okay. because my wife, who was also doing her costume for the first time, uh, when when she packed up, we have two bags that look identical, and. Um, I wasn't taking my bag. She took her bag. And while she was packing, uh, both bags were down at the foot of the bed where we were kind of assembling everything. And um, the next morning, um, the morning that we left to go check in to our room, uh, I grabbed everything, loaded it into the truck. We hit the road, got to... Pensacola, and we were like, look, we got a couple hours to kill. Let's try on everything. (laughs) So my Loki (laughs) stuff went on great. Um, Of course, we knew we had the Captain America and Black Widow stuff. We knew we had our Star Trek uniforms. uh, And we started trying on her uh, Amora costume, and she had everything except her cape. And she's looking at me. She's like, hey, did you grab my cape out of the closet? No, nobody told me to, A, and B. When I looked in the closet, I didn't see a cape. Mm -hmm. It was packed into the other bag. It was packed into my bag and was sitting at the foot of the bed. Um, But we didn't know that. The bag that you were not taking. Right. Uh, And they they looked the same, so she just quickly slipped it into that bag. And then when she slipped the other stuff into the other bag, she didn't notice. Um, Easy mistake to make. um, So you have to adapt and overcome, right? So we found that there was a Joann's in Pensacola, and we drove over. We found the material we needed. We bought a handheld Singer sewing machine, and Saturday morning, uh, after one cup of coffee, uh, Kelly pinned everything where it should be. We laid it out, um, and she fed the material to me, and I used the handheld sewing machine, and we sewed a brand new cape for her. Uh, because the temperatures were going to be kind of chilly. So it, we could have gone without the cape, but yeah, she would have felt more comfortable with the cape. Um, and plus, I mean, capes are cool, right? Yeah. I have a cape. Uh, Lando has a cape. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, um, when we we got finished sewing it uh, and we, we tried them both on, and, and hers was just a slight different shade of green than mine and a, shi- a slight different shade of gold, so, um, <laughs> that, to me, they just looked so good together. Um, and, and you, you showed me some pictures, um, uh, I was taking, and I was just, I, I was, I mean, I was just blown away. I, I, I mean, it's one thing to have the costume, but when you add all the accessories or, uh, like you had the staff and, uh, what did you call the? The Tesseract. Okay, the Tesseract. Uh, I, I mean, that's just an additive. Uh, it's like the cherry on on uh, the Sunday or something. Uh, just yeah, I think so. I think that's what 
uh, kind of makes the, the costuming appealing. And I'll be honest, um, I, I tend to try to get into whatever character I am cosplaying um, to some degree. And when I'm Captain America, I, I carry myself a certain way. Uh, I interact with kids a certain way. Um, and uh, it, it's a great feeling. Um, when I was Loki... I may have been a little more prideful than I normally am. Um, and I, I believe I did constantly make the comment. Anytime I took pictures with people, I would say, I am burdened with a glorious purpose. <laughs> and uh, that seemed to go over pretty well. Um, we, uh, every time, so I went as Loki and my wife went as Amora the Enchantress. And my best friend Kevin went as Bro Thor okay. from Endgame, right? So he had the the slippers, he had the the robe, the okay. and the the gloves, you know. And he already has a natural, real bushy red beard, so okay. um, it, it worked out great. Um, <laughs> So anytime I took a picture with him or any other Thor, I would always tell them, "We are not doing get help." Um, so I don't know if, if you've if you've seen Thor Ragnarok, you'll definitely get that reference um, because uh, in order to get away from the guards, they would pretend like Loki was sick and oh, you know, say okay. get help. Okay, okay, uh, okay. And, and then he would toss Loki at them. So uh, definitely not okay. Loki's favorite thing. Okay. Um, but uh, I took some pictures with some other great Lokis. There were a lot of cool variants there. Um, there were a few people cosplaying as Sylvie. Um, if you've seen uh, the Loki series on Disney Plus, um, but uh, there was one in particular I really enjoyed taking a picture with, and um, I sent you a copy of it, uh, and I'll, I'll put a picture up here so you guys can see it. But um, the there was someone who was going as President Loki, okay. right? Or Loki for President from the Loki series. And he was just spot on. It was perfect. Um, and a couple of people actually said that we kind of resembled. We looked like we were related somehow. <laughs> and I, I definitely think he did a wonderful job. It turns out he was a friend of one of my friends. And uh, small world, yeah, small world. Now we're Facebook friends, and he he said that they've been trying to convince him forever to do cosplay, and I think he should definitely stick with it because now, he who did is a great this, job. Now, okay, okay, Loki for president. Okay, right, okay, right. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, and I, I saw the picture, uh, and, and it was great. The picture with you, Kelly, and uh, Loki uh, for president. So it, it, it was great. Um, yeah, and I tell you what, um, we had a lot of fun, and um, probably one of the, the funniest things that happened uh, while we were there is when I would run into different Lokis, it, it would create kind of a, a bubble of... Lokis, like a Loki frenzy or something? Well, people would rush up to take photos, and okay. uh, so, you know, or anytime there was a Thor that would walk up, okay. uh, and we would take pictures. So that that was actually a lot of fun, and it, and we did. We got to actually play off of one another. Uh, anytime I would take a picture with a different Loki, we would talk about which variant was the superior variant, or which one was the lesser variant. Okay. Okay. You know, and I think uh, just due to the horns on this helmet. Yeah, now, definitely. Now, now that that that's what blows it away, or or just I I, I mean, I, I saw a video of you walking with the staff and the Tesseract. Yeah. Okay. And I I mean your posture, uh, the look was dead on. Uh, I, I mean everything was 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 dead on. So. If I had to grade you, I, I would give you an A, uh, and not an A plus for the simple fact I, I knew that you shortened the time to, to do Right, it. and there, there's definitely some detail work that I can go in later and redo, but for a quick, yeah. fast costume, I think it, absolutely. it could not have come together better. A a absolutely, and I know that there were some times that you were like, well, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done. You know, I, I, I may just not just not cosplay um but the reaction you you received from it I, I i know that that um made you just feel you know um more um happy that you that you had a chance to uh cosplay it and, and do that right 
Um, and then I think uh, our next costume uh, was on Sunday, the last day. Okay. We went in our classic Star Trek uniforms that uh, my wife had, had made several years ago. They still fit, um, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Uh, but I, I got to meet George Takai. I got his autograph. I did a photo op with him. Okay. Really, really nice man. Um, he did, uh, took a little bit of time with us uh, while we were getting the autograph. Um, of course, uh, each celebrity kind of had their own rules about wearing masks or um, not wearing masks. And he did request that we wear masks. Um, in which the photo? I can, uh, not in the photo, okay. in, the, in line when we got the autographs. In the photo, we did have a plexiglass right. partition, okay. and it definitely at his age, uh, I, I, I understand. completely understand it. Right. Um, and he was very respectful about it, um, and, and I, I really appreciated uh, just being able to, to talk to him for a few minutes while he, he did his autograph. Um, Star Trek was such a huge influence on my life, and... Um, he was the last surviving member of the original series crew that I had not had the opportunity okay. to meet. And so you have, do you have photo ops with all? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, autographs from all? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I actually have these collectible plates uh, that I always get them to sign uh, oh, from cool. the Hamilton collection. Really cool, really nice uh, collectibles that, you know, hopefully I'll be able to pass on to my children because uh, I think you know that's just something yeah, cool cool it, it, it is uh that, that's real cool now let, let me ask you uh as far as your crowd again i i was kind of trying to keep up virtually uh <laughs> and and they did an interview I, I guess at the bay center um with uh mike insley okay um, yeah and um i i know that they're I guess they were expecting around maybe 30,000. Yeah, I think 30,000 may have been the peak in, in years past, but there were, I believe they think they far exceeded right, that number. Right, and, um, right. This was definitely, there were some crowds. Um, I tended to avoid the Bay Center's um, merchant floor okay. on Saturday. I think I made one pass through in costume just to, to do it because I was looking for a friend of mine um, and the rest of the time I tried to stay out front or I tried to go to some of the other venues some of the other areas because it was just so many people and they were gracious enough that people who had Saturday only passes they actually extended a free day for Sunday because right. of how long the lines were and they were they were aware of that and they tried to do the, the best they could to extend uh, whatever courtesies they could. Another thing that that I hope people will take into consideration, because there, there were some people who were obviously upset with the long lines or upset with, with some of the organization, but they normally have a certain amount of volunteers that show up every year, and this mm -hmm. year they said only 30% of those volunteers actually showed up, um, and, and they had been asking for volunteers wow. for wow. months. and. Uh, so I think considering what they had to deal with, they did a Phenomenal wonderful job, job uh, of, with what of they had. Off, right, right. right. Um, um, and yeah, are there things that could have been better? Certainly, there's always something that can be improved upon. But but I think that the volunteers who did show up did an outstanding job, and and thank you to those who did, um, because at the end of the day. Uh, this is probably my favorite convention that I go to. I do plan to go to Dragon Con this year for the first time, if I can make that work. Um, but Pensacon is, is it, it holds a special place for a lot of people. It does a lot of good for the Pensacola community. And uh, I, I can't wait for the 10 year, which is coming up. And, and that's what I'm excited about. Uh, although I was saddened that I couldn't make it and unveil uh, my Lando, uh, we are in the middle of con season right right uh so we have another con uh that is going to be next weekend uh in which i plan to unveil uh the lando uh at the mississippi con uh, it's no the, not it's the coast con coast con I'm at sorry. the mississippi coast coliseum correct uh come on down i think it's going to be saturday and sunday and two things that are really um gonna make this con special 
CoastCon's always kind of like a homecoming for me because it was the first con that I actually went to. Okay. Um, and I know so many people, uh, fellow Mississippi costumers, cosplayers, uh, podcasters, um, and different personalities that I've, I've met, and just friends of mine. So it, it's like a it's like a family reunion. That's what we like to call it. But this will be my first official troop as Darth Vader with the 501st. So that's why this Vader helmet is here on the table. So it will be my first troop as Lord Vader, and it will be his first cosplay as... Right, as Lando. Uh, now, uh, and when you when you said that it's sort of like a, a homecoming, a, a home feel, uh, that gives me a little sense of... of comfort because this is my first cosplay now uh but certainly uh, again don't know what to expect this is the first coast con that i will be uh attending and also dressing so um i think you're gonna have a great time he is going to be doing some behind the scenes stuff while i'm getting ready in my vader costume he's going to be getting some photos of the process i believe uh trying to capture some video hopefully we may do a live stream if we can get that to work i'm not sure what the what the signal is going to be like in the coliseum but like comment and subscribe to this channel um find us on our instagram uh, so geeking cool on instagram we've got the facebook page uh, try to stay tuned, try to keep up with what we're doing, um, and hopefully we'll have some exciting content from the floor of CoastCon. And uh, if you have any questions about Pensacon 2022, um, put those in the comments section. Um, and if you're interested in going to CoastCon uh, and you have any questions, put them down here. If I can't answer them, I'll try to find someone who can. Um, but this has been um, a great experience. Uh, I look forward to the 10th anniversary when Derek can show up. I know he's going to have a great time, but I know we're going to have a phenomenal time at CoastCon next week. And um, Stay tuned for pictures and content. Uh, you want to see me in Atlanta. Uh, and I'm, I'm right, and do you think, all right, real quick, comment, should he go and shave the goatee and just go with the mustache he's he's going as lando from empire strikes back so what do you think put that in the comments we'll we'll count up the number of comments and see what happens <laughs> stay tuned and as a result uh from the questions that we asked last time one person out of the feedback that we got from about 23 people one person had also heard of the legend of Billie Jean. One oh, person wow. had seen it. So that's hmm. so, uh, you know. I guess it does exist. Yeah, it does, and, and <laughs> great, great, great movie. <laughs> well, this has been a wonderful experience. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm Frank. I'm Derek, and this has been so geek and cool. So geek and cool.